Pisces, what is up? I'm here to do uh, what is changing in 2022 for Pisces. What is changing in 2022 for the sign of Pisces, spirit, angels, guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us. All negativity that surrounds us and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right. So with that being said, let's jump on into your reading. Thank you to everybody who wished us a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> um, going into 2022 with some positive energy, y'all. I feel it's going to be a really good month for Pisces. Um, yeah. I was going to get into other signs, but... Let's just keep this strictly Pisces energy, please, spirit. Pisces energy. What is changing in 2022? I'm going to get on right after this and go live. Um, I think I'll do about 15 questions. So whoever chimes in first and y'all will get, you know, we'll do questions. I'm going to have my daughter with me, so... She's going to be my little moderator and try and keep it straight so we can flow a little easier than last night's live. All right, so let's see. What's coming in for Pisces, Spirit Angels and Guides for 2022? What's coming in for my Pisces? Single jumping cards only. What is coming in for my Pisces? What is coming in for my Pisces? What's changing? Care and compassion. We got soul flame. So care and compassion is Quinn Yin. All right. Um, chose, chose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. All right. So you may find yourself helping. Um, being, I'm getting uh, it's a time to give rather than to take. Make decisions based out of love, freeing your heart of resentment, guilt, or remorse. And then we have higher learning, Melchizedek. I'm probably totally like butchering that, but you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further your progress. All right. So moving on to the next level. So um, are we really moving on to the next level or are we just moving up to a higher level of learning? Ooh. And then we got Odin. Odin in the house. Did I show you guys these? Care and compassion. All right. Higher learning. Ascending to the next level. Odin. Psychic insight. <laughs> your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. And then soul flame. So Rada. All right, rediscover the lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Yeah, healing, letting go of resentment, um, letting go of, you know, past heartache, moving on to the next level, choosing to be love, care and compassion, doing what's right for everyone involved, not just what is right for yourself or those around you, okay, for everyone. Offer a helping hand. So I feel like you're you're accessing a new level. How do I say this, Spirit? You're finding a self. I don't know how to say this. It's like accessing an inner part of yourself um, that was always there. It was never. It was never lost. It was never found. It's just being able to be accessed it's like getting the key to the next level you know like when you're playing mario brothers and then you get through the next level right i don't know this level may look familiar it may jog your memory is what i'm getting so whatever this transformation or whatever this you know 
I don't know why I'm so drawn to like a video game right now. I don't even play video games like hardly ever. I go to the arcade sometimes, but anyways, um, yeah. This level may look familiar is what I'm getting. You may recognize something or you may see something that will jog your memory and you're like, oh shit, I remember this. Or you may feel a certain way or it may allow you to unlock your heart. Ooh, I like that. Thank you, spirit. Come through. Okay. Unlock your heart. This is nice. Pisces. What's coming in for Pisces? What's changing in Pisces life? 2022 what is changing for better or for worse <laughs> what is changing don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo so be careful to be prideful at this time um yeah do what is right for everyone involved or maybe you know okay so Either you, Pisces, or somebody that you were dealing with could have been prideful, okay? This is what is changing in your life, 2022. So, care and compassion. Choose, and this is falling right below, choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. So, is what I'm getting is maybe somebody, either you, Pisces, or somebody you're dealing with, Maybe somebody wasn't being very helpful. Maybe somebody wasn't being a team player. Maybe somebody wasn't giving equally, all right? Um, maybe somebody made choices that were only best for themselves and not best for, you know, the people involved or their family or whoever, okay? It was somebody here could have been a little bit selfish, self-loathing, self-loathing. Self I don't even know what that means. Self-loathing. I've heard that word before. Hmm. This is what's changing. So maybe somebody here is going to come in and, you know, do what's right for everyone involved. Maybe somebody's going to offer a, hot, um, a helping hand. Maybe somebody had some ego issues. Um, Fullman and Leo could have been dealing with the Leo as well. All right. Show me more. What is changing for Pisces 2022? <clears throat> What is changing for Pisces 2022, Spirit? Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. So this did want to fall in the reverse. So this is what is changing. Okay, if you feel like you've been working towards something um, and you feel like Maybe you're breaking even. Say if you started a business and you just feel like you're getting enough to get by. You know, your hard work is going to start paying off. This is what is changing. Okay. You could be getting promoted, moving up in the ladder as well with this higher learning. Um, you have learned from experience. So maybe you've been through a whole hell of a lot in your life. I feel like your hard work, your dedication, um, everything that you've learned, everything that you've chosen to ascend from rather than stay, stay trapped in, I feel like that is about to pay off for you. But your job isn't over. The job is not done yet. There is more work required to further your progress. So you are progressing. You are on the right path. You are on the right, you know. It's like moving to the next level. <laughs> like, literally, follow the yellow brick road. I don't know. A time for healing, balsamic moon, soul flame, falling right below soul flame. Okay. Uh, rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. And then we get a time for healing. Okay? So two cards about healing. This is very powerful. This is what is changing. Okay? You're going to be healing yourself. You're going to be finding a lost part of yourself. And I don't want to... I know the card says a lost part of yourself, but I don't feel like it is ever lost. What is 
what is in your soul is already there. You're not finding some, it was never lost. It was just un undiscoverable, okay? <laughs> I hope that makes sense. You're about to experience relationship harmony and healing. Beautiful. So you'll be healing. Your hard work will be paying off. And somebody who may have been treating you unfair, this is you if you're treating somebody else unfair. I feel like that person is, you know, going to come and offer a helping hand or do what is do what is right for everyone involved. Somebody here, I feel like, had, had an ego. Um, you could also be getting psychic downloads, insights, visions, um, seeing the truth for what it is as well. Your third eye is open. Follow your intuition. So your intuition is on point. It'll never steer you wrong. It's whether or not you learn how to tap in and follow that. Because a lot of people get the messages, but they don't listen. Okay. Confidence is the key to your success. <laughs> Another new moon in Leo. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo. We also have the King of Wands sitting on the bottom of this deck as well. All right, so fire energy. Let's see. Um, all right, so let's go to love, spirit, angels, and guides. Love, friendships, romance. Karmics. Oh, right, guys. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Spirit, show me. What's changing? Ooh, what's changing for Pisces 2022? What is changing? I'm going to take all these cards in the upright. Let's do three cards, Spirit. Show me what's changing in my Pisces life. In regards to love, friendships, romance, karmics, ascension, finances. What what do you got? Show me what's what's changing. So when I say what's changing, okay, so say if um Okay, so for instance, like this care and compassion. Maybe somebody here wasn't you know, making decisions based out of love. That is what is changing. Okay. So pick the opposite. If you were give, making decisions out of love and somebody was treating you unfairly, then flip the rules. Okay. So we have girl with a snake, empath and a narcissist paradigm being charmed or used and able boundaries. So this is what is changing. So you could have been dealing with a narcissist. You could have been the narcissist. Somebody here could be an empath, vice versa, all right? But, or you know somebody, or you're involved with somebody, okay? Being charmed or used. Maybe somebody was charming you, using you. You're letting people use you like a doormat. Just playing the nice guy. Just being, you know, the empath. The one that is always loving. Always, you know, some, again, with this going under care and compassion, Doing what's right for everyone involved, offering a helping hand. So maybe that was you. Maybe you're the one that's always caring, offering a helping hand. Okay, people are, you're easy. This may not be for everybody, so don't attack me in the comments. But somebody here may be easily um, persuaded by love, per se. Somebody here may have a hard time enabling boundaries, setting up boundaries, um, sticking to the boundaries, all right? But this is what is changing. So whoever was um, feeling this way, whether you were the empath or the narcissist here, let's just be real. Um, I feel like you're going to be changing those ways. You're Either you're not going to uh, let somebody, you know, break through your boundaries and use you for your kindness, take your kindness for weakness. I feel like Somebody here had a lot of pride and the other one had a lot of care and compassion. The empath and the narcissist, correct? Okay, so whatever side you're on, I feel like that is coming to an end, okay? That's good. Last changing. All right, show me what else. What's changing for Pisces 2022? 2022 spirit. 
the boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Okay, so receiving what you need, the boat, seeing your ships coming in, your hard work is paying off, and you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required. So progression, right? More inner study is now required. Progressing to the next level, seeing your ships coming in, moving on. You could have, maybe in the past you had closure issues. That's what's changing for you. You're no longer um, living in the past, okay? You're letting that ship sail. You're letting that boat sail. You're, you're progressing to the next level. Like Luigi, you know, like Mario Brothers. Like once you go through that door, you can't turn around and go back. Or maybe you can, I don't know. Whatever, okay? <laughs> I told you I don't play video games that much. It's been a long time. Except for at the arcade. <laughs> All right, receiving what you need. All right, so maybe you felt like you weren't receiving what you were needing. Um, you could have felt like a lack thereof, or maybe, you know, you didn't have something like, maybe you didn't have a, re a reliable car. Maybe you didn't have daycare for your children, or, you know, there was something here that you, you needed, and you... I feel like your hard work is paying off. You're advancing to the next level. But then again, it's like that's when you start all over. You got to make it through the next maze, right? So just because you made it to the next level doesn't mean you stop and you just sit there. It means you keep going, okay, and furthering your learning and going up the ladder. All right? Up, up, and away. <laughs> okay, give me, one, give me one more message for Pisces, please. What's changing If you felt like you weren't receiving what you were needing here in 2021, I feel like that is definitely coming in. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, you're advancing to the next level. So what maybe what your goals were um, a year ago, you're like, damn, I did accomplish. It didn't happen how I thought it was going to happen. But I did look at where I've look at where I was and look at where I am now. Or this could be good or bad. Say if you were in a great relationship and now you're in a shitty ass relationship and you're like fuck how did we get to this place okay so now it's time for you to look at your life from a bird's eye view reevaluate the situation and say damn last year where were you last year and if that was in a better place than what you are now then you need to start reflecting on what you can do to fix that if you were in a you know a less desirable place and you were like damn I, I want this and this and this and now that you're looking back like hmm didn't come in that way but I I did progress like in a different way or achieve my goals in some aspect okay then set new goals because now you're going through that door so it's not time to just stop and sit at the door it's time to get through the maze set new goals and get to that next door and once you get to that door unlock that door and do it all over again okay Keep ascending. All right. Give me one more message, please, for Pisces. What's changing? 2022. 2022. Spirit angels and guides. All right. So we get the hammer. Ooh, the phoenix. The dragonfly. Hammer was the official card. So sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Um... So this is following under soul flame and a time for healing. Both of these cards relate to healing, sabotage, rebuilding. So healing a situation, something, you know, that happened over and over and over and constantly working on it. What was I saying? If your relationship was great and, you know, it's fallen to shit, it's like either are you guys going to work on it or is this going to become repetitive? You know your situation more than I do. Whatever this is, it's a time for healing. It's a time for ascending. It's a time for moving moving to the next level. Sorry, y'all. All right. Then we also have Dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to the 
light adapt change and heal so another card about healing the phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and changed mind so exactly the this soul flame up, up here makes me feel like this could be a past relationship or somebody whether this is um a romantic relationship a family relationship friends co-workers neighbors whoever there's going to be like somebody here is going to tap into a different level of consciousness in 2022 you have ascended to the next level you're going to tap into some like what I was saying with the soul flame, you're not discovering a lost part of yourself. It's more like you're you're moving to the next level. You're unlocking something that you you weren't able to concept before. You're healing. Your emotions are being healed. Your chakras are becoming imbalanced. Things are going to come to the light that's going to allow you to adapt, change, and heal. There will be a new phase, a new cycle transformation like we were saying somebody may have changed their mind as well or somebody here may be not changing their mind you know what fits best for you either way i feel like you're choosing to heal whether this is moving past current challenges or recognizing that you overcame your past challenges and deciding to create new challenges in order for yourself to grow Okay, Pisces, <sighs> let's get a fortune cookie card and then we'll close this out. Nature, interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. All right, so get out in nature. It is a time to heal. 2022, be more active, do more things outdoors, heal yourself. Find that inner that inner level that has not been accessed yet. That's that's where you're gonna find this higher learning. This transformation is hidden with unlocking was is within. How do I say this? Is within. Once you heal within, for real, for real, you're unlocking yourself to the next phase like a dimension that you haven't accessed before it's always been there you just have didn't have access to it so if you're on your soul's journey now and i know a lot of my clients that um have gotten personal readings can relate to this um you guys are trying to find out you know what is coming next you know that you're going through some type of transformation but you don't know how to interpret it i feel like this reading may be for you Okay, um, then we also had sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. So again, choosing loving thoughts, having care and compassion here, doing what is right and offering a helping hand. No longer allowing yourself to be used like a doormat from somebody here who was stuck in their pride and ego, whether that was you or the person you were dealing with. Okay, then we have assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. Birth of a child is also likely. All right, so yeah, soul connections. Assert yourself, be assertive, be strong. Higher levels of learning, your hard work is paying off. You're about to receive the assistance that you've been needing. You're about to close some cycle or um, if you had closure issues or had a hard time getting over something, this is a time for healing and I strongly feel that. You got the Phoenix and the Dragonfly. Two cards about major transformation, transformation, renewal, and things coming to the light so you can change, adapt, and heal. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. If you guys like this reading, please smash the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!